Hello, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, first off, happy holidays, guys. I know it's uh, been a little while since I've uploaded. Been uh, kind of busy lately. It's just various other projects that I've been working on, personal projects, stuff like that. Um, and I need to upgrade my phone still. I'm still filming on my 6S. I haven't... I've been kind of avoiding filming videos because I've been worried about my camera crashing in the middle of recording, which happened with my last video. Um, with enough rambling though, today's video is going to be on how to remove the stem and crown assemblies from these West Clocks pocket watches. Uh, this will cover all the variants of this movement, including the ones up to the end of West Clocks production. So, with, without further ado, let's get started here, actually. This is a Style 3 pocket bin. Style 4, actually. I think. Uh, I'm not 100% spot on my uh, model numbers. What you're going to want for all these watches, actually, too, some bent tweezers. Well, not for these. A pair of bent tweezers. I got these with a knife fix it repair toolkit um, to replace a battery in my phone and a flathead screwdriver. Uh, it will vary on the watch. So with this, spot a nice big flathead screw right here, set screw. What you're going to want to do is loosen that guy, tie up, and have it fly off like that. Just kidding. And you're going to tip the watch so it's dial up. Maybe give it a few taps. And this one's going to be difficult, obviously. There we go. That one actually has a little notch cut out. And there we go. Comes right out. Reinstall it. You just put it back in. Then you push that down. Make sure it's all indexed up. Then you install your screw back in. For reference, this watch was made in April, I think, of April 21st, 1942, it looks like. So, it's a wartime watch. These date back to the late 30s, actually. And that's how you reinstall the crown. You just screw that screw back in. Moving on to a slightly later variant. Let's see here. West Clock Scotty. This is a 49, I believe. 1949, yep. Now, for this one, it does not have the little notch, unlike this one here. For that, you'll just remove that set screw, put the watch dial side up, give it a few taps, and obviously pull on the crown, kind of give it a few jiggles, it'll pop out. So basically the same steps for this one as this one. So that should cover the earlier version of this movement. And also this one here, which is a slightly later variant of these movements here. You still got the set screw, but this one's a bit easier because your setting lever arbor now has a little notch cut out and it's raised up. So you, when you remove the set screw, you can pull that out, pull the crown out. It's a much easier process. Now, an even later variant of this movement. Actually, that's the wrong one. This one right here is what the one I'm looking for. And this is a bullseye, very common watch. This one's from 1962. And you see, no set screw. Some of these movements will have the plate that has a hole for a set screw, but there won't be a set screw. There will be no hole in the movement for a set screw. And you'll notice the arbor here has a cutout, and it's spring-loaded. So you just pull that, pull on that, stem and ground pop right out. Easy as that. Put it back in, you just index that up, pull this out, pop back, pop that back in. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So up until there, it's relatively easily for all of those. Oops, sorry for the jerky camera movements. Then, <laughs> you get into this era of West Clocks. You know, these very late, uh, late ones. And these ones I have put 
older movements in, but it's the same plate design as the riveted ones. So here's a Coronado. This one's from 1965. The dates are down in there. Here's where the bent tweezers come into play. We'll remove that retaining spring. So, and if you look down in there, through that hole right there, you'll see a piece of metal, and that is the setting lever. You'll want to get your tweezers in and under that, and then you'll want to pry up like that. And the stem and crown comes right out. Uh, these can be fiddly if your setting lever is bent or tweaked in every in any sort of way it becomes a real massive pain to remove unfortunately and to reinstall put your tweezers back in there pull that up snap it back down in there and you're good to go now i will install the case backs on all these and finish up the video here and that that process goes for all of these later ones as I said before, even including the aluminum ones, this would have had an aluminum movement, but I um, inverted it. So, so I'll move these all back in here for the uh, end shot. Make sure my camera zoomed out. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope this video was helpful uh, and not too rambly or vague. Please uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, feedback is good to hear. If anything wasn't clear, I'll uh, be sure to correct that in the future. So once again, thank you for watching and uh, see you all in the next one.